I'm going to solve the uh, following uh, quadratic equation um, using the completing the square technique. The expression is actually equal to 0. x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Uh, you fundamentally uh, manipulate the thing uh, using that expression. And notice the first thing I do is to take the negative 10 and move it over to the right side of the equation. Okay. Uh, this is kind of a simple one uh, to complete the square on because the coefficient of the squared term is 1. The first major problem is to find the value we're going to add to both sides. We take the coefficient of the linear term, uh, don't worry about the negative in front of it, and take one half of it and square it. Uh, when we get done doing that, we end up, I think, with this one being 9 fourths. So the magic number that we're going to add both sides of the equation is 9 fourths. So immediately I will take the left side and add 9 fourths and take the right side and add 9 fourths also. Notice, uh, I don't know how I managed to do, yeah, right, okay, 9 fourths, looks good. Okay. The left side now is a perfect square, uh, and so we can factor it by taking uh, x minus whatever the square root of 9 fourths is, in this case 3 halves, and write it as being squared. And when we're completing the square, using the completing the square technique, we like to have a perfect square on the right side. On the, le on the left side. On the right side, I change the 10 into 40 fourths. You can know why I did that, because I want to add it to the 9 fourths. And here comes the square root uh, of both sides of the equation. As soon as I get it ready here, we'll see if I can do that. Okay. Started to put the parentheses in the wrong place, but just disregard that. 40 fourths plus 9 fourths is 49 fourths. Okay. Square root of x minus 3 halves squared is x minus 3 halves. And then the square root of that, which is yet another perfect square. This is an accident. Don't expect this to always happen. Square root of 49 fourths is 7 halves. Plus or minus. Don't forget... When you take the square root of a constant, use plus or minus. So we are now ready to actually calculate a one of the values for x and maybe the other one also. Okay. First one, let's see, which one do I take? I take the positive 7 halves first. And that equals looks like 10 halves or and which reduces of course to a plain old 5 so we think one of the solutions to this quadratic equation is in fact 5 and the negative 7 halves for the second value which will produce what negative negative 4 halves which we think is negative 2. So we now have calculated both solutions of this quadratic equation, one of them being positive 5 and the other being negative 2, using the completing the square technique. Okay. 